Hello everybody and welcome back to Stone Hearth. Well, we now have eight people. Do we have eight beds? Yes, we do. Woohoo! And a goblin snuck into camp! Oh! What's this? Haha, someone in the co- Are they skulls? Did the goblins make a fire out of skulls? Oh my goodness. Anyway, I need to check on hod leather mail in black pajamas because they're in our camp stealing our stuffs get out of our camp you yeah yeah that's right you put your hands up hands up and someone was saying that i'd made someone else into a footman but i hadn't High on lullabies is still a worker. Did I try and make high, high on lullabies a footman? Maybe. Doesn't look like it. I need someone to be a worker, I think. Oh, there's some angers going on here. Angers. Slept in a shared bed, minus two. Oh, right, they don't like being in a dorm. They want to have their own bedrooms. Meal was raw, sun's too bright. Okay. Let's have a little look at the worker thing. So, it looks to me... Like... Oh yeah, oh okay. Because I want a chef. But it looks to me like I have to have a farmer to at level 2 first. Oh, so who's my farmer? Goose and Mona. Okay, so one of those guys. Or someone new. What level are you? Level 2. Level 1. So Goose could be a cook. Goose, you could be a cook. If only the mason... Who's the mason? Flora's undertaker could get to level 2. Uh, she is halfway through getting for level 2. So we need to make loads of stone stuff, basically. And to do that, we actually need some stone. Hmm. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and like harvest some of the boulders around the place now, I believe. Mine does a tunnel. Mine custom block will make a tunnel of whatever size I want. But I think gather trees, plants and stones. So remember I was making little holes in the ground, not really getting it last time. I think that's because I need to do this. Oh, these are just stone blocks. That'll give us our first little bit. There's not much other stone, though. I think we were getting some stone from here. I think it's a mixture of clay and stone. We could really do with, like, getting this down a little bit. Going down a little bit and, uh, into the mine. So maybe I could, like, step the mine down a little bit. And, um... Let's have a look. Mine tunnel... Oh yeah, so we could go down a couple of steps at a time. We could put little like staircases in and we could make it like a proper little mine shafty thing. I probably want to get rid of the ladder to start this, but we can get rid of that one in a minute. Right, okay, I've got an idea. So, I want to build. This is going to be great, okay? Shush. Daily update. Ah, yay, new halfling. New one. Except Stefan Von Des has joined Dreamweb. Very well, Stefan. Oh, those berry bushes grew back. Nice. So if I gather them, I can plant them elsewhere. I can make a berry bush, berry bush feast. Oh, loving is going on. Oh, you're so in love. Just one is in love. I don't know why. Or who is. Oh my goodness. A cute squirrel booped me today. It made me feel warm and fuzzy inside. The sun's too bright. Well, get get used to it. Uh, well, don't get used to it because uh, it's going to be cold soon and then you'll be really unhappy, right? I don't know if you can get shades or something. Can we dress these guys? Can we dress you? Can we put shades on you? I don't think so. Probably want to go inside, don't they? Not work outside. 
Wow, there's a deer. Awesome. Okay, so anyway, what was I doing? <laughs> Building. Building! That's what I was doing, and then I'll rename Stefan. So, for some reason I'm on the town overview. That is not what I want. I want the building menu. So what I want is, and I, I do know how to make stairs now, okay? I just struggled a bit to start with. So what I want is some stairs, like there. And then we can start like digging down a little bit to make some more stairs. And we'll go right the way down into the ground until we find stone and then we can start properly digging around. An x-ray view. I can see all like any little things in the ground with this, can't I? Not that I can see much. See all the holes and things I've made. So then what I want to do is mine down from here. A couple more so I can continue the staircase going down. So... Remind myself one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So I'll have to do a custom block and it goes down five. Has to go down five. Okay, well, let's do let's do a custom mine then. So we can do a proper like mine shaft going down. So anyway, uh there mine custom block needs to be five by three. And then go down five. Um, Reset really vertically without a mouse wheel. However, whoever digs that is going to have trouble. So maybe what I should do is build the staircase one layer at a time. So we'll just do that for now. Once we get down to the stone layer, it'll be a lot easier. I can just tell them to mine like tunnels and we can make a whole subterranean base. But I, w I just want this mine shaft to be going all the way down. What I could do is put a ladder there. Someone could come down and put a ladder for the person to get out. I need two workers for that, wouldn't I? Uh, do you know, you know, if I do this right... I can make my own staircase. It's built into the rock. It seems to work quite well, doesn't it? See how they get on with making that. In fact, I don't even—I I didn't even need that first staircase, do I? I could just get rid of that. Build. Just erase that. You just go down the ladder and just start going down that that new uh, staircase. I'm basically just mining out of the ground there. You can be really precise with that. That's amazing. I could eventually just build it up, but for now, yeah, like it. 
I like it a lot. It means they can't like dig themselves out of a hole there. Or into a hole. Or whatever. So look, they're gonna go and they're gonna build this staircase now. They'll come out of there. Maybe I'll just see them doing that and they're just building their own little way in and out. Oh my goodness, I like it! I like that a lot. Okay, I'll I'll do another one. Just gonna completely take away three layers worth. So I'm just gonna make that into a good corridor there, and then I'll slowly slowly dip down, take layers out, making a nice staircase. Know why they're not taking that out? They're weird, huh? What's wrong with that one? I don't know, suckers. It's better. And then it will turn. Oh, hang on. I am going to need to build. I should have done this from the very start. But now I know what to do. Can I just... Oh, yeah. I can just go in there. I can just make like a little... We need to go down a couple of layers. Oh man, everyone's fighting. I need to I need to be taking care of this. Where's Hop Squeak? Where's the squeaky hop? It's hmm. Is there a problem with those? Is that just saying that it's it's harvestable? Probably. It looks like Hop Squeak's okay. So how are we doing over here? It's being built. I'm probably they're too busy building the mine right now. Oops. Also, we need to rename my new person. So, Stefan Von Des. You will be renamed as uh, five mine one body. You're going to be another footman, I think. Uh, you're going to be renamed as oh no, Felicity Lab. Didn't bring up the patrons properly. There we are. Mm. Oh, I know. You can be skew with. Skew with. Oh, come on. Retype. Type, 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 type. So, ku with. I think that's how you spell skew with. I'm sorry if it's wrong. But you don't have it on your patron name. I I just know who you are. Okay. I know some of my community. Mm. Okay, so Skewiff is still a worker. I think Skewiff needs to be a footman, but not quite yet. And I'm going to set um, Blue Rose Undertaker to making some stone piles out of these. Oh, she can't. Rats. Make make some... A stone bench. We'll have two nice stone benches outside. I... These are getting very full, these stockpiles. I'm going to have to start making cabinets and things. There she goes. Go on, Blue Rose. Okay, so, so, anyway, where was I? I just want to slow it down a little tiny, tiny, weeny bit. Edgar Plankton has arrived with windows and doors. Wait, I can make windows and doors. We don't need your windows and doors, Plankton. Okay. So we need to see underground a little bit more. I'm going to slice through here. So 
I need to make it like high enough for them to be able to walk through. So I'll need to be is it out mouse wheel. Okay, we'll just do this then. And then go down one. So that's the first step done. I'm going to lower the slice by two so that I can properly get this, uh, this mine in now. And at this point, I can just go down as far as I want, really, because we've gone underground now. So I can just staircase it all on down right away. So let's make a nice big long corridor here, basically. I find this slightly more controllable and easier than, uh, than going the other way. And then we'll just make that into like a staircase all the way down. And they should be able to reach stone by this method. It's so much easier than building a staircase, tell you that right now. So this is how I will be building mines from now on. Ah, perfect. We've hit stone, which is what I needed. So from here I want to go down a couple more. I might turn it at this point, actually. Go down a couple more layers. I swear I can hear bees. Want it three high, and I just want a little bit of a corridor here. And we just want to go down about three more steps or so, just down into the stone. So we're getting down onto a nice stone layer now. So that's them in their mine. Just having funsies, having a fun time. So now they can just mine corridors and they could even have little rooms down here. They could even have the blacksmith down here if they wanted. Possibly not the most elegant mine that is ever going to be made in the history of this game, but I don't think it's too bad. At least it has stone. Okay, so let's go down a couple more layers. And I can just start making like nice corridors and we can dig rooms out and everything. We can have underground bedrooms. Or even underground stockpiles. Or stone specifically. Or maybe this would be the place to, to move, like, the stonemason. As much as I said that they would be going into the, uh... Okay, we need, uh... To think in 3D, rather than 2D. So all of these rooms need to be at least three high. Two. It's 
just missed a bit there, I did. And then along here. I'm a bit blocked in by that. Oh, they are building us a lovely room and we've got copper and everything in there and we can build these out as much as we want so I'm gonna move the stonemasons thingy down here and I'm also just gonna now I definitely think I'm to go down was well, out and mouse wheel so three so that that's better that they're instantly doing the right size there uh, I sometimes feel like I have a bit more control when I don't do it that way, but if I'm building a big long corridor, then I do need to use the mouse wheel there. It's nice that it tells me what to do as well. Control to subtract regions, that's good to know as well. Anyway, we're going to go back up to the surface now. We're going to turn off slice. Go all the way back to the surface. You can see them all in their mine down there. Doing their stuff. In the meantime... I would like to move all stone working down the stairs. So, can I move this? Move item. Slice. All the way down to here. And I'm going to move it. Oh! Mason workbench. Oh no, hang on. I can still move down to here. Rotate is the arrow keys. I know that now, guys. It's okay. So we'll have a nice workbench here. And then I'm gonna, the mason will be one of the first ones I think to have like its, its own chest. So can I paint the walls in here or do I have to build new walls for that? Is it like RimWorld where you've got to sort of line the place with, with walls? We'll have to see. Into the build menu. Can I paint these walls? Can we have like, you know, ash white walls or something? Doesn't look like I can paint onto the walls or floor here. So what I may need to do with rooms in here is to give them a little facelift. Because they might be a bit like, I don't like being in a, in a thing in the ground. It's terrible. And I could, I could utterly understand that. I want to build a wooden door down here. It doesn't look like I can. It looks like I have to build walls to do that too. So if I wanted to build a wall down here, I could indeed build a wall down here. I could just build it up. So that's maybe something I will have to do. But now though, I'm quite happy with my little cave. This will be a stockpile. And I'm gonna tell this. I thought we were on the stone layer down here. We are definitely on the stone layer, aren't we? We might need some lights down here though. anything that could make me some light. We've got some stone braziers, so they might be quite handy for a bit of a bit of light in here. Maybe we could like make some recesses in the wall for it, specifically for some braziers to make some light. Hopefully someone's coming down with the brazier. We're going to keep all our stone stuff down here and we'll probably put the blacksmith down here as well. Underground complex! I just need to work out how to make it a bit nicer for them.
can make some stone beds down here. It'd be like a prison though. It's terrible. Okay, so I think I want to actually uh, make some proper walls down here for the runes. And possibly, possibly a proper floor. I might move this in a second just over here. So I'll start, I'll actually start with this room. A goblin. I, I need to probably make more footmen as well. So if we've got like... Oh, an explorer approaches your town. Hello, Dreamweb. I'm an explorer from far to the east who deals in various amounts of trade and collection. Recently, I found two autonomous cricket golems just sitting next to the road. I'm not sure who left them there, but they're quite helpful at cleaning up. I don't have much... Sorry, I have much use for them myself, but a nearby village said they're in need of two wooden doors. I'll be relaxing nearby for three days. Would you be interested in a trade at that time? Yeah, when did they send that message, though? They'll be back in... Oh, okay, I got... I got a pass on that one. Looks like they're attacking my town again. Oh, nice one, Hop Squeak. How you doing? Are you feeling all right? Okay, so who is my herbalist? I must know this. Jin, you are my herbalist. You are idle at the moment. I want to open the herbalist's menu and make sure I have a herbalist's workbench. For that, we need some wood. Really? We don't have any wood? Well, that sucks. So the herbalist is going to go in here somewhere. But I guess we need to cut down some wood. That's probably why this building's not doing very well. Doing really well with the building down below, though. Gather me some trees! I'll be out of the way then for further town expansion. Oh, they like shelves. We both like shelves. Shelves are great. Let's have a conversation about shelves. Riveting conversation in this village. So, Skewiff, I, I wanted to make Skewiff a guard, didn't I? So, I'm going to make. Oh, how is Blue Rose doing? Still level one. Are you nearly there? Ooh. Nearly there, yes. We, I do want to make some bedrooms down here because I think the blacksmith and the uh, stone worker would do very well for living in the mine. For that is where the, all the stone and the ores are. The farmers should definitely be up top. I am starting to think that this building should be more for food. And that this build and, and we should maybe put some beds upstairs. And then start to give people their own beds. And then make this into into the the inn, maybe. I, I am kind of thinking that at the moment. Let's look at the building thing. I'm actually gonna erase all these roads. I am really not sure about them. If I can. Of course, roads, roads are placed, aren't they? Rather than... Or are they? No, they're built. They are built, so road. Erase. Maybe I have to select the road before I can erase it. No? Very odd. Not sure what I'm doing there, really. I can leave it be. They don't seem to be building it either. Maybe because they don't have any wood, actually. Daily update! Yay! A new person, Sean Northpoint. Coming in from over there. Sean Northpoint is going to be 
maybe another farmer or something. Good, good body skills, or maybe even like a yeah, decent skills all around actually. So, oh yeah, vizier of truth had asked for a name. So vizier. If I hit enter, generally the naming seems to work. Now I need more beds, definitely for for this. So I think what's going to happen now is um, now did I tell the seamstress or seam tailor, whatever you want to call them? Who is that? Maple makeup. Did I tell Maple makeup to make Maple makeup should be the chef. I'm terrible because in real life maple makeup's really good at like things like cooking and hop squeak is really good at crafting but hop squeak is actually the the footman here oh man crazy times but anyway did i ever ask them to make any like cloth or anything that's the mason that's not the there we are so bolt of cloth spool of thread Make me 17 spools of thread then. Then we can make comfy beds. And the miners will be the first ones to have those, I imagine. My trees have grown big. They do grow big after a while, actually. They're really huge. Raccoon! Raccoon, come to eat my stuff. I hope this stockpile of food will last. So what else have we got here? Oh, we need to make two doors, don't we? Two simple doors? Two wooden door. Make me two wooden door. Wooden tunnel door. Wooden double door. Wooden door. Make me two. Thank you. I could do with some golems. Especially if they'll just work for me. I don't really know what golems do, but I hope they will just work for me. I keep rethinking what I want to do. Seems like now they've got wood, they're really getting on with that uh, building project over there, which is really nice. How much wood do we have? Still not very much. Oh, like all this actually. I think that they can make do with that for a while then. How are we doing down in the mine then? Good, seemingly. Okay, so what I want to make down here is some chests, if I can. Because now we've got like a pretty un unlimited uh, amount of stone, as long as we mine it out. Make that spoon yet? No, grr. Could I have like table and chairs down here and everything? Weaver level two, very nice. Extremely nice. I'm gonna make some stone beds. I'm gonna make like four stone beds. I'm also gonna say, mine me out a little cubby hole or two for some stone braziers to go into. Invaders! Oh my goodness me! We have treasure chests! What? Uh, invaders! Invaders! Approaching! They don't like that I'm doing so much mining. When I'm cutting loads of wood, it's always like wooden things. I, I don't know if that actually translates at all. I'm gonna make my carpenter get another footman on the go because these are starting to get a little bit more tough. Just a tad. I'm sure Hopsqueak can handle it, but you know. Hey! 
Let's hop, squeak. Squeaky hop. Squeaky a la hop. There is uh, animals and you need to fight them. There she goes. We just didn't see them, right? I messed up the whole town. Okay, so I did want the herbalist, but we didn't have any wood at the time to build a herbalist's like workbench. And I can place it. We can start making healing tonics on it. Back to work. Direct hard things with combat jobs into battle. Hmm. Maybe should be doing that then. They're doing pretty well at the moment though, so I'm just really trying at the moment to get uh, my stonemason up to level two. And then once my stonemason is at level two, we can make some lovely noms. And then I'll get my uh, carpenter to make... Uh, oh wow, the house is coming along nicely. In fact, I might speed it up a little bit now. I slowed it down just so I could concentrate on making the mine, but it's, it's coming along now. See, so this is my mine on x-ray view. Got the staircase going down, another staircase going down, into a subterranean base. And if I slice down to it, we can just go there. Now. Interesting how on x-ray I can't see those chests. I can only see them on slice. Must be all sorts of things buried deep underground. Mason level two. Woohoo! I don't need to see that. I don't need to see that. I do need to know about that. I need to make sure that that goblin is being chased off. Go on, hop squeak. Get him. We're going to get you some healing potions in a minute. We're going to get the healer working out properly. Woohoo! Oh! Oh wow. Hop squeak, I really hope that you're okay against giant zombies. Oh, apparently you are. And apparently it had some gold ore. Well done! Well done, Hopsqueak. You're boss, considering you only have a, like a wooden sword. You'll be a archer or a knight in no time. Right. Healing tonic. Oh, nice. Come and loot all the stuff, please. There's loads of stuff to loot out here. There's quite a lot of stuff they haven't been like bringing back in for some reason. I think that must be all the loot from all the uh, all those little uh, earth, the little stone dudes, stone golemy, earthling dudes, whatever they're called. Now, whoever has the best body skill out of the workers, honestly, I think vizier would be the best. It should be like maybe another footman. Crafting, keeping your head clear. No. I think high on lullabies would be better as so maybe a blacksmith or something later on. So I'm going to take Vizier and make Vizier into a new footman. To help Hop Squeak out. Once the sword is made. Did I tell them to make a sword? Sort of thing I might have forgotten to do. I thought I had. Maybe I forgot. Archer's bow, a shepherd's crook. I'd love to do some uh, some meat. That'd be amazing. We're all very vegetarian at the moment. They're still just chugging away at that. Like, just using all this wood here. Chugging away at the building. And once it's done, we're going to have... 
I might make some more internal walls up here so that there's maybe a little, maybe a little bedroom, maybe a little hallway there, a little sort of bedroom, or a few bedrooms around there. I might even split this place up and have a couple of different quarters for different people. Ah, oh, not enough for another one. We've got ten already. We'll struggle to feed everyone if we have too many at once. Okay, so we can make the chef's spoon now, which is quite exciting. Chef's spoon and a potter's cutter. In fact, you know what I'll make now? I'll make storage. Like a workshelf and a chest and things like that. I'm also going to, um, over here, I said I was going to build walls, but I won't. I'll make these just uh, like initial rooms and I'll make more rooms going in and I'll make them nice and then I'll come back to these rooms later. Um, I'm going to make this into a stockpile. For anything to do with stone. So I don't want any wood down here. Pelts or skins or plants. Um, or food and drink. Or wealth. Oh yeah, no, we could have wealth. There might be gems and things down here. Tools and goods. Probably don't really want... Well... Refined metals we probably want. Weapons. Armour. Healing, probably not. Furniture might be made of stone, so yeah. We're in Goldman 1. Water, water from the skies. Fantastic. So yeah, that's fine. It looks like the chef's spoon got put in that stockpile, so that's good. It means that the the carp the sorry, not the carpenter, the stonemason doesn't have to run away too far. Now, what I can do as well is mean is uh, try and define it so that stone gets brought down from the other stockpiles. So I'm going to go upstairs. We're going to redefine the stock. I mean, I couldn't help but to have everything in those stockpiles to start with because I had nothing at that point. There's no reason for the stone that's being mined out to come up here. So I would say no stone in these stockpiles, please. Take him downstairs. Man. Explorer will be out back in 28 hours. Where's the cell? Don't need any of those. Nah. I think Hopsqueak is doing well. Uh, now let me see. Can I up... Great vizier to a footman yet. No. Could have sworn I told the carpenter to make a sword. Are you still busy doing that, Trist Fallen? Double doors. Oh, wow. We kind of needed those, didn't we? Oh, you have a lot of windows to make. Oh, dear. Can we make that door first? Please. Is that a paranoia? Do we have the doors for the... I don't even know what we have in this stockpile. Let's see if I can see any doors in here. I made doors. And... I have zero clue what I have anymore.
got a bajillion window frames right now. An official looking fellow approaches. Okay, kind greetings at last. I can see your settlement in person. You've developed even faster than I anticipated. You should all be proud. Thank you. I came out personally to help you on your last step towards being a true settlement of the Ascendancy. You've grown large enough now that it's time to choose what hearth shall represent your town, as is tradition. Tradition? Indeed, hearths have served as shining beacons for towns all the way back to the Phoenix Empire. Their glow attracts settlers and prosperity, and the particular qualities of a chosen hearth reflect where a town finds its value. Value? I'm just repeating the last word he said. For instance, a hearth of cheer. It's for those who believe that a town's value is found in being a happy home for its citizens. Sounds quaint. A hearth of makers, on the other hand, is for those who believe a town's value is its work and that its work is best measured in gold. Sounds productive. Finally, a hearth of glory. It's for those who believe their destiny is to stand strong in a hostile world, as the Knight Sid did at the founding of the Ascendancy. Sounds heroic. To your glory or makers, the choice is entirely yours. Envision what your town will one day be and follow that beacon into the future. We choose. A hearth of cheer. I want boost daily morale net worth based on the overall morale of your citizens. Each day brings a new random buff for your townsfolk. Sounds nice. We're going to be cheerful, we're going to eat lots of food, we're going to be happy little town folks. I honestly think, are all of these roads in just different colours? I need to, I need to paint the roads so that they are the correct colours. They all seem rather randomly coloured right now. We'll sort that out though, it's fine. Don't you guys worry. So, we need to make sure all of our citizens are content, but some of them are not. I imagine that as I divide up these houses into smaller rooms, which is something I can start on probably next episode actually. So next episode, we're gonna try and get people into more individualized rooms. We're gonna build a couple of rooms for people who are working underground, in the underground layer. Couple of bedrooms down there, Rimworld style. We're going to probably subdivide this building up. And I would say that I maybe want like a herbalist workshop, couple of bedrooms, uh, maybe a sewing thing in there as well. And then we could have, I don't know, carpentry upstairs in here. We could then have food and some tables and stuff downstairs in here, divide it all up. Not 100% sure yet. I might just, you know, try and make more buildings. Uh, I, I don't really don't know. I'm still deciding. I'll probably d decide properly by next time. But we definitely, definitely need prepared food. Now we have potentially a chef. So now uh, Goose is level 3 and Moona is level 3. Man. Do I really want to lose one of my farmers now? Well, having a chef is important, but I'll have to hire another farmer. Oh, we have enough for another person. Well, let's get that other person, kill off this uh, goblin or whatever it is, and then I'll probably end the episode there. Mate, it doesn't look like we've made a ton of progress, but a lot of the progress we've made has been underground. So our progress today has been digging this out. It annoys me that I did that over there, but never mind. I won't do that again. You can see my road being dug in here. Awesome. Okay, let's see how the, the invasion is going, because I haven't even looked. I'm not even looking at what the invasions are at the moment, and I need to. Is it? Do you still not have a... Yes, finally! You can be a footman. You can help Hopsqueak out. Hopsqueak, you're not on your own anymore. Poor Hopsqueak. On the plus side, Hopsqueak's getting loads of EXP, so she'll probably be like a knight or a uh, archer really, really, really soon. Which will be really, really cool. Need to make some more fields next time, probably just um, get all of this kind of filled in a bit more. This is supposed to be the herb garden, so I might sort of paint it up a little bit to make it look a bit more like a herb garden. Guess it, harvest some more berries, get the berries planted. I'm going to get chests made so that we can see what's in all these stockpiles. Ah, I feel like I'm starting to get there now with it all. And then eventually what I want to do, 
has to go all the way around the village with a nice big wall. But I kind of am a little bit loath to do that straight away because I kind of want to know where the village is, what direction it's heading out in. I mean, I want is probably going to have it like around like that ish, around that way. But I don't know how big it's going to get, so I need to make it expandable. Anyway, that's going to be it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more Stone Hearth, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, though, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.